Hey guys, Ruben here and we're in store today to talk to you about kneeboards. So these are some of our best selling products and they just fly out the store every single season. And we get asked a lot of questions about what makes a $200 kneeboard versus a $800 kneeboard. So I'm here to answer those questions. So the differences between our kneeboards is how they are made. So we have our roto molded kneeboards and our compression molded kneeboards. Now the differences between these two boards is the construction and how they're made. So our roto molded kneeboards are plastic, they're super durable, they're very cheap, they sell about $200 and go up to about $400. And then we have our compression molded kneeboards. They are fiberglass with a foam core compressed down like a sandwich to make a way better performing board. They are lighter, easier to ride, perform way better, but they are a little bit more expensive, starting about $500, and you can spend anywhere up to about $800,000 on these types of kneeboards. So, in our plastic kneeboard range, we have two main types. We have our square tip and tail, and we have our directional. Honestly, these boards both are gonna give you heaps and heaps of amount of fun, both of them have an inbuilt tow hook, which is probably the best feature about our plastic kneeboards. All of them come with a tow hook, which is really, really easy for your rope and handle. Just to slide straight in, make sure deep water starts a hell of a lot easier. It means you can just slide up with both your hands, get your knees strapped in, and away you go. Moving on to our fiberglass boards. Now the first type of fiberglass board I'm gonna show you is our narrow tip and tail boards. These boards are perfect for people that just want to skip plastic boards altogether and go straight to the real deal. So these boards are narrower through the tip and the tail, which allows the board to roll onto edge a little bit easier for kids and those a little bit less experienced. But that square shape gives you plenty of pop and lift off the weight so you can get those big airs. It's also a lot of rail on the bottom, nice rocker, so plenty of 360s for you guys. Another really cool characteristic about these boards is that they have the inserts for a tow hook. Now boards like the Hot Chili and the KD Mayhem come with a tow hook, but our other narrow tip tail boards have the insert, which is an option to buy that tow hook. Alrighty, so our next style of knee board is our wide tip and tail board. So these boards, as the name suggests, wider through the tip and tail, gets you more pop and energy and lift off the wake so you're going to get those big airs start to throw some big inverts or just trying to get as much air as possible now the drawback from having such a wide tip and tail is they are harder to get on edge so for those that are just starting off or those intermediate riders it's going to be a little bit harder for you to start controlling and getting that edge into the wake so Boards like the Joker are more tailored towards those advanced riders. They don't have the inserts for the tow hook, so your deep water starts a little bit harder, but this board is for those that are chasing performance. So, something that is a little bit easier to ride compared to the Joker is the KD Slayer. This is a really, really good board. Still has the inserts for a tow hook, super soft squishy pad, double locking knee strap, which is really good if you're chasing those big airs because it gives you a great connection to the board so you don't have to worry when you come down you're not going to slip off you're not going to have any slip between you and the board when you land so but still has that nice wide tail shape, shape giving you plenty of lift off the wake the final shape of kneeboard that we have in store is the modern shape kneeboard so these boards are like our ho agent and o'brien ricochet so the ricochet has been around for a little bit longer has that square tip and tail, plenty of rail on the edge. So you'd notice that these boards are rounded in shape. So that allows the board to nail into the waves, hold plenty of angle and speed because it's not really prioritized that pop off the wake with these boards because normally if we're running these boards that are higher performing, they're normally hitting bigger wakes. So what we're looking at with these boards is a really good edge hold, a nice soft landing because these boards go hard or they go home. So. You want to have that nice big center spine or rounded base. So if we look at the base of the agent, it has this nice big center spine throughout it and then flattens off to the tail, which allows to get that big pop off the, off the wake. Nice big channels throughout the board, so it really holds that edge into the wake. And so you have heaps of speed and therefore plenty of energy off the wake. 
Boards like the O'Brien Ricochet are super popular because they are in that modern shape, but they still have that toe hook. So why make things harder? We just want to have fun and knee boards are one of the best ways to do that out in the water. So make sure you shop online or come in store and see me and Gareth and all the other friendly staff and make sure that you land on the right board for this summer.